UCS Central is a product that Cisco is building to help customers manage multiple UCS domains through a single interface. With the growth of unified computing system deployments, customers are looking to extend the simplicity of UCS Manager to their expanding UCS infrastructure. UCS Central is a virtual machine-based product that is coupled closely with UCS Manager. Before we look into the details of UCS Central, let's take a look at some of the key foundations of UCS Manager and the problems that it solves. The organic growth of data center infrastructure has led to many management points, increasing the cost and complexity of running a data center. The Cisco Unified Computing System was designed from the ground up to simplify the data center. It eliminates the need for individual component level management and reduces the number of management points to one. Cisco's concept of service profiles provides statelessness to servers by abstracting the physical properties, connectivity, and behavior that can be applied to or moved between servers. Policies in UCS Manager enable a defined once deploy many capability and prevent any configuration drifts. Let's show you how it works. This is a Cisco Blade server, and this is a brick. When you take a Cisco server out of the box, there is no difference between a brick and a server because our stateless approach. Stateless means we don't store any state information on the server, and that's a big advantage. Now, let me bring in a UCS management domain. Think about the information that needs to go on a server. BIOS, MAC addresses, worldwide port name, UUIDs, and more. If these were hard-coded and you have to replace a server, you would have to reconfigure things like BIOS settings, access control in LAN and storage arrays, among others, with the new identifiers. Instead, with UCS, we have the concept of resource pools. Resource pools contains MAC addresses and other identifiers that are no longer tied to any specific hardware and can be applied to any server. If you need to replace a server, the system can easily move the same properties to the new hardware, and you don't have to change your infrastructure. We call the collection of policies, resources, connectivity, applied to a server, a service profile. Now, let me bring in another UCS domain. Each domain has its own set of resource pools, policies, and service profiles that can be assigned to its hardware. But in a large distributed data center, that can lead to multiple points of management. Now, let me add UCS Central to the picture. UCS Central uses the same concept of resource pools, policies, service profiles, but on a global basis. This guarantees unique identifiers across all the domains. UCS Central also enables global policies that provide consistency of configuration that is available across multiple domains. And finally, UCS Central provides global service profile that makes use of the global policies and global pools. And any server in any domain can use these global service profiles. Not only does UCS Central give you the benefits of global service profiles, it also provides a single pane of glass view of the aggregated inventory, fault, audit, and statistics information across multiple distributed UCS domains. This gives IT administrators one place to manage their ever-growing computing environment. Cisco's passion for open APIs continues with UCS Central through an XML API very similar to the proven one you can find in UCS Manager. The management of Cisco's unified computing system is continuing to evolve with UCS Central by extending the core concepts of UCS Manager to a greater scope. As you scale your UCS deployments, with UCS Central, your ability to manage it grows also.